welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reading this book about perseverance and this is called The Hyrun and the Hummingbird. So let's get started. Re told by Stephanie Cahill, illustrated by Dor Lors Aventando. Tando, Tando, sorry. So let's get started. The Hyra Named the Hummingbird. It was bedtime. Nilla was still running around her room, playing with her toys. You zip around just like a hummingbird, Nila, Nila, Nila. Nila's big brother, Miko, said, If you get in bed, what? I'll, now I'll read you a bedtime story. What is, what's it, what is it about? She asked, jumping into her bed. Is it, is it, is it scary? No, he replied. It is about a hummingbird. I think you will like it. Oh, good," said Nilla, crawling under her, under her, under the covers. So Mika began the tale. Long, long ago. When the world was so new, two birds were arguing. I am bigger, said the hyren, so I should get to eat all the fish we see. But I'm faster, boasted hummingbird, so I should get to eat all the fish we see. Grandmother Bear was listening to the two birds. Why don't you have a contest to decide who gets the fish? She asked, yes, let's race all the way to Great Tree, Hiram suggested. Yes, Hummingbird agreed. The first one to reach the Great Tree wins. <laughs> the next day at sunrise, the race began. Hummingbird zipped off, flying at top speed. Here I go, said herself said to herself i can i can taste those fish already hiram flapped his long wings and flew up into the sky all day long hiram flew and flew flapping his wings to a steady beat hiram's Hiram's path was straight, and he never stopped. Flap, 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 flap. Hummingbird flew the way she she always did. She she zipped back and forth and back and forth. Zip, zip, zip. This she stopped to drink sweet nectar from flower in that other in another. At sunset, Hiram kept flapping across the night sky. Flap, flap, but Hummingbird was tired. She landed in a flower bed. She said, it's hard to zip back and forth and back and forth. I need a oh, I'll catch up to Hiram the morning. She went to sleep right over there. The race went on for days. Hiram flew slowly and Steadily, flap, flap, little, little hi hummingbird flew quickly, zip, zip. The they were getting closer and closer to the to the great tree. Hummingbird flew past high red catch each morning, but the sky took. But she took a nap each night. Uh -oh. Oops. Finally, Hiram flapped 
his big wings on last time. He landed right at the top of Great Tree Hummingbird. Was now now here a sight? Did I win? Hans asked, surprised. Just then, Hummingbird zipped in. She was. Shocked to see Hiren in the tree. Oh no! She cried. I got tired zipping back and forth. That I slept too long. Now I've got lost the way. Race. Once again, Grandmother Bear was listening. Well, Hiren, she said, your path was straight, and you never stopped. You are a, the winner. So now you get to all the fish we see. Hummingbird cried. But what will I get? You will get sweet nectar, little one. Grandmother Bear replied. It's just like the the flower nectar you stopped to sip along the race. And that is why Haran eats all fish, hummingbirds, drink flower nectar. Said Miko. The end. He looked over at his little sister, but Mila was fast asleep. The end. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and. Bye, guys.